Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Hangout with Busayo. Yeah, you see, we are still here. This is courtesy of Miss Palace. And don't forget that they have the best in terms of uh, food, intercontinental dishes. They have good lounge. They have everything you're looking for. Don't forget that you can also come and spend time in Joss. And when you come to Joss to spend more time, you can come to Miss Palace and enjoy the benefits and the good things they have here. Okay, today on the program, we'll be discussing about uh, the post-COVID era. Hmm. What is going to be expected of you uh, at this period of time? We have a guest in the studio today. We'll be doing justice to this uh, topic post COVID era. All right, guys, you see the guy in the studio getting ready to <laughs> get right. ready to finish all the work he has for us. All right. Okay, let's introduce yourself. All right. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Aramun Samuel and I'm a graduate of Obafe Maolo University and accounting graduate. It's a pleasure being on the program today. Thank you, Busayo. Okay, yes. Right. Uh, let's just go quickly to what we have. Right. You know, now, the uh, when I mean the post-COVID era, you know, now lockdown has been lifted in some places All in right. Nigeria and even part of the world and everybody's trying to get their feedback. You know, at some point in time, private-owned uh, uh, organizations are laid off some of their staff to cut up the budget and all. But what do you have to say concerning the post-COVID era? All right. First of all, I want to say nobody was prepared for this kind of uncertainty. But what I just have to say is companies are faced with a lot of challenges this period. Decision making has been on the high help because employers can't work from their office. They have to work from their home. And now the relationship is quite remote. But I think companies during the post-COVID era, they just need to re-strategize. Okay, now let's let's bring it from the aspect of the employees. What would you have to say about employees who are still finding it very difficult to get their balance now? Possibly they don't know what to do and all those things. My advice to the employees is for them to be rest assured that their jobs are secured. First of all, they need to keep calm because there have been directives from um, the Central Bank of Nigeria to all banks to ensure that no staffs have been laid off, that um, just to... Um, to ease them of the shock of the COVID-19. So basically, employees should keep calm and look at what they can do, L look at the opportunities that are available around them. This popular man, um, Steve Harris, a business strategist, said it is not enough for you to look at um, the gap in the market. You should also look at the market in the gap. So they should look at the benefits that are embedded in post-COVID-19 era. Thank you. Now let's move away from those people who their right. jo jobs are secured and let's look at those that are still trying to get their bearing. So what do you have to say concerning maybe advice, any business you know that, okay, at this point in time can strive and uh, possibly your advice from the financial angle. All right. Thank you very much. Um, the first thing I have to say is the lockdown. Someone said that the lockdown is a time for people to think, to, to rewrite their statement of purpose, to think about what they can do as a person after COVID. So I believe that to, um, during the lockdown, you must have had um, some strategies in place, some plans, although those things are still subject to what happens after COVID. But I want to believe that you should be a person that has um, plans for what is going to happen next after the COVID era and when the lockdown is being eased. So what basically what um, people should do, people that are faced with such uncertainties is that the first thing is for you to have a strategy, a plan that you are expected to execute after the lockdown. And just know that everything, uh, everything that's going to happen after COVID, it's going to be new. We are entering a new economy and um, we, are, we are going to be faced with so many options, so many things to do, but stick to your plan and just watch how it works and just believe and things are going to work out just still looking at those people that their jobs may not be secured in All quotes right. you quoted the central bank of nigeria yeah. and central bank of nigeria gave the warning to banks All right. and now we don't know about other houses because i know some media houses some All places right. where they've laid off their staff because they cannot meet up with adverts are not coming in they cannot right. meet up with the standard and everything what would you have to advise those people that possibly at this uh, period of covid uh, maybe lost their jobs or All some right. that are still being uncertain about the stand of their job i mean those that are at their job are not secured all right um for those let me let me let me talk specifically now for those that their jobs are not secured for those that maybe must have been laid off one way or the other or those that are on probation about to be laid off what i just have to say to such people is also to have a rethink of what they want to do you have to rethink we all, we all have setbacks in life and for someone will say every setback is a setup for you to step up so you should know that this setback it is not a complete one 
every challenge you have to re-strategize look at what you can do to to beat the earth to come up higher and to be better so if you've been laid off or if you have this fear within you that oh i might be laid off or i might lose my job after the covid era or my job is not secured you should just sit down have a rethink of what you want to do you need to look into yourself there are opportunities everywhere everywhere there are opportunities you need to look around your environment what are the opportunities in my environment a quick story of is of um, of two individuals that were sent by their companies to a particular country and the first one got to the country the company produces shoes now the first one got to the company and saw that they don't wear shoes in the company now the the first and the second both of them went they discovered that they don't wear shoes. So at, as at the time the CEO called both of them to submit their report, the first one said, the country is not good for our, our company because there is no market in that, in that country. That is easy because they don't wear shoes. And we are shoe producing country, um, companies. companies. So we can't just go there with our shoes. We will not sell. Logically, you know, we can't sell. And the second person reported, and his, his statement was very profound. He said, there are lots of opportunities in that country because they don't wear shoes now these are two people looking at the same thing from different angles now the first one saw that yes we won't make profit because we don't wear shoes so how do you expect us to sell shoes you understand but the person saw possibilities of selling shoes to people that don't wear shoes so you just have to see this covid and um, post-covid era from different perspective what can i do what can i not do and just keep calm yeah, there's a market everywhere. Can we just get your all final right. words as we wrap this up on the program? All, all right, all right. My final word for everyone out there is for them to believe in themselves and um, see this COVID era, the lockdown and every other thing as a blessing. There is always a blessing in every challenge. You have to look at the positive side, look at the different angles and weigh your options and do it right. And um, I believe... You're going you're gonna to come true. Thank you. Okay. You're going to come true. Right. And you're going to make things uh, better. Thank you very much, uh, Thank you for Samuel and Remo, for coming to join me in the All studio right. today. Don't worry. I'll come back again next time. Until I come back away, stay cool, stay calm, and stay safe. All Don't right. forget that this episode, also, we are still at Miss Palace. Don't forget to patronize. Take care. All right. Thank you.